England has run out of both PCR and LFT tests, according to the booking website. You can't get one. How could this happen? We spent £37 billion to make sure we were prepared for this pandemic, didn't we? Surely having enough tests is a basic requirement. Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland have them. How come England have screwed up so badly? Well, we keep insisting on electing Conservatives for some reason, don't we? And they always put profit before people. Now, at the start of the pandemic, there was no problem getting a test. They were always about. But as the pandemic has worn on, especially in recent months, it's become harder and harder to book a PCR test, harder and harder to order doorstep deliveries of LFT tests. So you had to hope your local chemist had them. Why is it such a ball ache getting them now? The Tories, in their delusional sense of wisdom, decided that they could order X amount of these tests that they'd last for the duration of the pandemic, which would just blow over and then go away in time. They ordered in bulk to save money. But due to their negligence, the refusal to lock down early enough, shut the schools, actually worked to prevent spread. The pandemic has continued and continued. You can throw in the refusal to waive vaccine patents for poorer countries as another reason this global pandemic is still rolling on. But by ordering in bulk, these tests, which have a shelf life, are now expiring. They're going off without sufficient testing stock coming in to replace it. My sister works for the NHS. At her community hospital, they're now doing these things called lamp tests. The drawback to these is they have to be sent away and take several days to come back. But they're doing these because the LFT tests they're an alternative to have all expired. Of course, some are speculating that this has been done on purpose, since if you can't be tested, you can't test positive. So you can't add to the rising UK statistics, which, given the schools are on holiday, actually you'd be expecting to fall. However, with the new Omicron variant now dominant across the country, this isn't happening this time. Now, I don't buy this theory myself, though given how Johnson's cabal of idiots have performed during this crisis, it's understandable as some might. Having outsourced the test provision to the private sector because capitalism dominates everything these halfwits do, they are now unable to deliver. We have no in-house provision because it's been decimated through years of ongoing further privatisation in the health service, and now we're stuck. Johnson's nowhere to be seen, neither is Javid. Nicola Sturgeon, despite Scotland still having tests, has recalled Parliament over this crisis, but fact chance Johnson will do likewise. Case numbers will probably start to fall, but it'll be down to a lack of testing if they do, not a lack of COVID. We're flying blind right now in England, and that is squarely the government's fault.